Okay, once more with feeling. Right, last question, the last part of question 6 in 2014 high level physics paper. Okay, the ball leaves the club head at an angle of 15 degrees to the horizontal. Um, Talk the maximum height it can get to. Right, so it's, it's the vector that we're working with here is the velocity vector, 63.6 .6 meters per second that way. Okay, the maximum height, all I'm interested in right now is how much is it going up at the start. What's it going to stop going it up? What's going to stop making it go up is um, the force of gravity, okay, which is going to be um, mass by uh, g. So um, what I want to know is this upward component, right, of the velocity vector. Um, again, drawing my right angle triangle, that's going to be my opposite, okay. So I want to know what that opposite is. So I'm going to call it v v. So for the vertical velocity, all right. Um, it is going to be uh, the hypotenuse. Um, remember that sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So rearranging that, my hypotenuse times the sine of theta is the opposite. All right, that's that. There's our opposite right there. Yeah, grand. Um, can you see everything I'm working with? You can. Okay, cool. So the vertical velocity, or the opposite um, in, in our trigonometry, is the hypotenuse, 63.6, multiplied by um, the sine of 15 degrees. Okay, so remember that's 15 degrees over here. So I'm going to do 63.6 multiplied by the sine of 15, close my brackets, making sure I'm working in degrees. Um, yeah, so my vertical velocity is 16.46089127 meters per second, okay? Um, so, uh, what's going to stop it going back down? Gravity is going to stop it going back down. I, actually, I don't want to know the force of gravity. All I want to know is g, or that's what I'm going to use, and the acceleration due to gravity. So, we're going to be using one of our linear equations, our UVAST equations, um, what do I know? I know my velocity. Um, I know, let's say 16.46 is good enough for me, meters per second. Um, my initial velocity, or my, sorry, that's my initial velocity. My final velocity, V, is zero meters per second. Uh, time isn't important. My acceleration, my acceleration is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And S is what I want to know, and T is not important. Okay, so which one works for me here? Um, oh, yeah, okay, so V squared is U squared plus 2AS. The other one's um, S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared. And um, I put myself in the spot now, and I don't have my log tables open in front of me. V squared, um, S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, and V is equal to U plus A T. Okay, great. Um, yeah, so go, going back to here, I know my final velocity. What am I looking for? S, displacement. So total vertical height, assuming it was on the ground, I suppose. Um, okay, so what I want to do is rearrange this formula. So I'm going to say that uh, V squared minus U squared is equal to 2AS, and then divide everything by 2A, and I'm just going to flip everything at the same time v squared is equal to, or v squared minus u squared divided by 2 times a. So that's going to be my displacement. Can you still see that? You can. All right. s is equal to 0 squared minus um, initial velocity, which is the 16.46 to be squared. Remember, that's my upward velocity. I don't care about how far it's going. All I want to know is how far it's going up. And then multiplying it by 2 times negative 9.8. So um, I still have my answer on screen, actually, on the calculator. So I'm going to square that, um, and I'm going to divide it by bracket 2, ti oops, two times 9.8. Now, you may notice that I had negatives here and negatives here. Um, because it'll be a negative dividing by a negative. Remember, this negative is outside the bracket. It's not going to disappear because of the squared, or it's not going to be, yeah, it's not going to be gotten rid of. I'm going to be dividing negative into negative. So it's the same as dividing a positive into a positive. And I get 13.8245, um, uh, let's go to two, two decimal places usually fine. 
doesn't tell us what to do. Let's go with two. So 13.82 meters. That's how high it goes. Okay, so we can totally ignore what was happening here with this horizontal distance. All I want to know is how far did it go up? What's stopping it going up? Gravity, pushing it down. So it, it's the same as if we were just throwing a ball up into the air at 16.46 meters per second or hitting it at 15 degrees at 63.6 meters per second. In terms of its vertical displacement, they're the exact same thing. Okay.